What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia, and in today's lesson, we're going to focus on pronunciation. It's already the seventh edition of tricky words to pronounce. Are you ready to improve your pronunciation? If so, let's dive in. So first, I'm going to give you one word and a little time so that you can pronounce it at home and then we're going to check if it's correct. So let's get started. The first word on our list is a city. I'm sure that many of you are looking forward to traveling. Me too. And this city is located in the UK and I've been there. So this is the city. I want you to look at it, to pronounce it at home. Take your time. And now I'm going to pronounce it as well. And you're going to check if your pronunciation was correct. So the city is Cambridge. Cambridge. Be careful, it's not Cambridge, it's not Cambridge, but Cambridge. A Cambridge. Cambridge. Have you been to Cambridge? Now let's move on to our second word, which is this one. It can be a verb and also a noun. So pronounce this word at home. And now we're going to check the pronunciation. It's to, ready? To promise, promise. It's not to promise, but to promise. An example sentence, you promised to be on time. Let's continue, look at this verb, pronounce it at home, and now we're going to see if you can get one point for this word. The correct pronunciation is to receive, not receive, but receive. The stress goes at the end, and the second E is long, to receive, receive. An example sentence, I haven't received my order yet. Now let's move on to some adjectives. Number four, look at this adjective and pronounce it at home. And we're going to correct your pronunciation. So this adjective is well, there are two possibilities, actually. So the British pronunciation is varied, very, varied. And the American one is varied, varied. So varied or varied. For example, I make sure to have a varied diet. One more adjective. Look at it and pronounce it. So this adjective is appreciative, appreciative. So it's not appreciative, but appreciative. And it means grateful, appreciative. An example sentence, I'm very appreciative of your help. And be careful, the preposition you have to use after this adjective is of, to be appreciative of something. Okay, now we're going to focus on some nouns. Number six, look at it and pronounce it. Say it out loud. The correct pronunciation is image. Image. It's not image, but image. It's like double E. Image. For example, the politician is trying to improve his image. Let's move on to our noun number seven which is this one. Okay, look at it and say it out loud. Don't be lazy. Say it. Pronounce this noun. And we're going to correct the pronunciation. There are two possibilities. The British pronunciation is ta without r. Ta git. Ta git. Long r, no r. Target. 
and the American pronunciation is with R target target so British target or American target target or target for example I like setting myself targets and you let's continue number eight a really tricky noun to pronounce look at it and let's see if you can get it right so there are also two possibilities the british one is hierarchy the stress goes on the first syllable hi and then ra ki long a hierarchy hierarchy so this is british hierarchy and american is hierarchy so it's like hi and then rar with an extra r rar key hierarchy so hierarchy or hierarchy hierarchy or hierarchy was it correct guys an example sentence is difficult to climb the ladder in this company as there is a strict hierarchy second to last noun look at it pronounce it and there are also two possibilities the british one is draw lon o draw and the american one is drawer draw air drawer so the letter w is silent we don't pronounce it draw or drawer for example he put the letter in the drawer okay and guys last but not least look at this noun and pronounce it it's the last one i promise so the correct pronunciation of this noun is drawing it's long o there is no w it's silent so don't pronounce it draw in drawing drawing was it correct for example my niece gave me her drawing so guys how did it go did you get everything correct or were there any mistakes anyway i hope this english bit will help you pronounce these tricky words correctly from now on and if you liked this lesson make sure you watch the previous editions right here and of course guys don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up to subscribe to my channel and do my daily quiz on instagram with that being said thanks for watching and see you next week ciao for now